Okay, so we're going to start off with five cups of water in the bottom of your instant pot. And right here, I have four whole cloves of garlic. And then we're going to just dump in a corned beef. All right. That is in. All right, we are going to go ahead and put the lid on. And we are going to set it for pressure cook for one hour on high. Oop. And start. All right, we'll come back when that's done. All right, so let me start off by saying, because I have this question asked a lot after I'm done with um, my videos. And so I'm just gonna show you exactly what I'm using for this. And so here is, that is what is on the outside of this kitchen gadget. This is the one I'll be using to slice it. If you have ever purchased corned beef hash from the store, you'll know that the potatoes and the meat are very small. And so that is my goal is to make it just like I like it. And then here is the next gadget. It's full star and it comes with different size um, blades and different purposes. Um, there's n not all of them are blades. Like there's a juicer, there's an egg slicer, there's all sorts of different things. So I did a trial to see if it was going to be like I like. And I'm gonna show you now. Look, itty bitty minced potatoes. All right, so now that I've shown you these, let's set that off to the side and we're gonna go ahead and get busy and start slicing all of our potatoes and again like I said I have a whole bunch of potatoes that I harvested from our garden so away we go it is as simple as this load them up put the little thing in and it just kind of follows the potato down Voila, there's three potatoes sliced and done. And we will just put those back to the side as we continue to slice the potatoes. Um, my girlfriend gifted me this and I absolutely love it. I use it for bell peppers. And so this year we're growing a ton in the garden and um, I needed to find the best way to, oh, this one's a little green. I think I'm gonna get rid of that. Um, anyway, uh, I needed to be, the mo because of how much we're growing, I need to do what's gonna be easy for me and most sufficient, sufficient and efficient for me. And um, these gadgets are gonna be absolutely extraordinary in this year's harvesting and preserving time. Um, I'm gonna love this gadget right here for um, uh, our bell peppers and our onions. I am growing like 365 onions. So I'm just gonna set some down in here and give it a whack. Done. Set some in here. Give it a whack. It is super easy. And I love that they're the small size. They're going to be the small size that I enjoy having my corn beef. All right. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 
All right, next phase, we're gonna go ahead and take the corned beef and cut it into smaller sections. Um, I'm just, I gotta make sure that I can fit it inside of the, uh, the food processor. So I want to remove um, the fat because the fat we cannot, uh, it's not going to do well in um, the freeze drying process because some of this we might take and freeze dry for later to send to our son. Um, and fat will go rancid. So we want to remove as much as we can, but yet still leave some on for the flavor for tonight's dinner. It's a little hot. And that fat is right smack dab in the middle. little bit more yeah. oh yeah all right so let's go pick an onion this will be the first one I've harvested this year. I don't even know if they're ready. Um, let's try this one right here. It looks to be a little fat. That's not ready. <laughs> All right, unfortunately, I did not have any onions ready in the garden. So we gotta go with this store-bought one I had. And we are going to make them small, just like um, just like the potatoes are. So, you uh, can't pay attention to my nails as they are gardener's nails. <laughs> One large onion. What I've gone ahead and done was put, it's on medium high heat. I'm using my cast iron pan. Um, I, we don't want to put any grease or butter or whatever because I plan to freeze dry some of this. Um, and so I'm using broth, beef broth. You can use vegetable broth, chicken broth, whatever you have available okay and um i actually scooped in the what was is now mush uh but the uh four cloves of garlic are in with this as well and so we're going to add a cup of small red diced onions here's one cup of potatoes here is 
two cups of potatoes. And three cups of potatoes. Let's see how that looks. So if you if you don't know me, then this is going to be a learning lesson for you because I don't like to measure. I just like to create, but I'm trying to measure for you guys so that you can enjoy as well. So that was three cups. We're going to go four cups. Okay. All right. And this will give you enough for like, shoot, you could have a dinner and then, um, and then breakfast the next morning with some fried eggs and some kind of chilies with it. A friend of ours suggested Hatch Chilies, Hatch New Mexico Chilies, which are amazing. Um, which I do grow, so that's awesome. So basically, we're just going to cook this on a medium-high heat. These are raw potatoes, but because they are cut so fine, um, it should not take long at all. Okay, so as suspected, it um, absorbed all of the broth and is sticking a little bit, but that's fine. We're going to add now um, one cup of the corned beef and two cups of the corned beef. Stir that around and see what it looks like. Oh, wow. You know what? It's really hot in the house, and this is not helping. <laughs> I'm thinking this is amazing. Okay, so I'm going to turn the heat down just a little. Okay, so now for the seasoning part. We are going to take ground mustard. And to start, we're going to do a half of a teaspoon. Actually, let's do a teaspoon. So we're going to do one more. Okay. We are going to do a teaspoon of smoked paprika. Smoked. Nothing but smoked. <laughs> I love paprika. All right. So there's a teaspoon of paprika, a teaspoon of ground mustard. We are going to go with a teaspoon of ground pink Himalayan salt. And a, let's go with a half a teaspoon, a half a teaspoon of black pepper. Okay. All right, now we're going to stir that all up. It's smelling amazing. Of course, I'm not trying to. I mean, I just really like corned beef hash. I know that I'll never be able to get it like the, and people probably are going gross. Why would you want it to be like the store-bought canned hash? I don't know. It brings memories back from when I was a kid. Okay. Let's give it a taste test and see what we think. 
Let's get a good enough sampling here. Got a blow on it. Mmm. Oh my gosh. It's quite amazing. Mm. We might end up having breakfast for dinner tonight. I might just put this in a pan and cook some over easy eggs next to it. I think what I'm going to do is taste it one more time now that I really got it stirred in and see if I want to add anything like maybe some garlic salt or not garlic salt but um, garlic powder. Mm. Mm. I think it's pretty amazing just the way it is. We're gonna leave it the way it is. All right, there you go. Your own corned beef hash. Turning off the oven or the stove. And, hmm, boy, I hope you guys give this a try. And um, if you do, tell me what you think about it. And if you aren't already subscribed to the channel, go ahead and subscribe because we will be doing for future videos and I don't want you to miss out on them. So hit that notification bell so you'll be alerted when new videos are uploaded. All right, y'all have a great day. We'll see you back next video. All right, so this is it after it has been freeze dried. It looks amazing, and now we're gonna go ahead and rehydrate some of it and let you know how it tastes. All right, so I've only just put maybe a teaspoon and a half in there. So let's slowly add some hot water. been a little too much water but what the potatoes might actually absorb quite a bit so we're just gonna let that set a minute that there for a second and see how that does meanwhile we're gonna go ahead and package up the corned beef okay so basically all I have here is a um, a double meal pouch and this awesome funnel that I got on Etsy I'll link to the Etsy page I will add an uh, oxygen absorber in there. Okay. And then we will take it to the uh, chamber vacuum seat. Here we go. You hammer those three facts home. All right. We got a good seal. Okay, here we go. It's been sitting here while we were sealing. Let's go ahead and take a bite and I'll let you know what I think. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, so good. Yeah, so um, 
the potatoes and the meat hydrated really well. We could have gone a little less on the water. Um, but you can easily drain that off. But I'm definitely going to make this again. This will be excellent for breakfast where, you know, he just adds a little bit of butter in the pan, puts, rehydrates it, puts it on the pan, and then um, fries a couple eggs. So this is going to be awesome. All right. Yum. If you aren't already subscribed, I hope you would do so now and hit that notification bell so you can be informed of any new upcoming videos that we put up. All right, y'all have a great day.